<coughs> Sorry. Hi guys. How are you? Today we're gonna uh, learn what our counters kind of thing. So this is the counter machine. Uh, I mean a counter, a 4-bit counter. Why I'm turning a 4-bit counter? Because it actually processes 4 bits. And uh, in a hilarious system there are 4 bits. Each having choice of 2 and 1 to 4. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So it's 2 in times 2 to the power 4, 16. So there are 16 elements in the hexadecimal system which includes 0 to 9 and A to F. Uh, if you haven't clear about hexadecimal systems, you can just better go and check on YouTube or just check it on Google what is the hexadecimal system. Get everything known to it like the binary systems and everything. Uh, the binary numbers because that's gonna be really helpful to us in our future videos. You better be a computer science student if you play this game. So it will be quite easy for you. So am I. <laughs> yeah. So this is a counter basically. Yeah. This counter has four uh, total five input outputs. What we can see on the front panel is four, but uh, as I told you in my first video that there are some elements which have input behind and for which we have to use the wire through stones. So how does it exactly happen is I'm gonna tell you. Uh, let's see, I have a wire through stone, a wire I'll take, and a counter. So I place my counter here. So you can see this wire it goes through this stone here. Getting it. So let me just try uh, if my stylus depicts okay yeah name. so you can see oops how do you go you can see this thing a red thing that red thing actually is the wire okay and uh, and this thing goes through this wire it goes okay wait a second yeah it goes through this wire you can see here it goes through this and then at last it comes out here okay so here so this same thing i've attached a wire to the back of a counter you can understand it uh, to the back of a counter this is the counter here is the wire there's a wire here okay it looks something like this okay there's a kind of wire like thing here like imagine this that it's in the block okay if i just cut this block in two halves i can see some structure like this right? there's a wire here there's a counter here and there's this other slot here so this actually doesn't have so you must have understood using my because i've used my stylus now so this is how it works actually so i have done the same thing i've attached a <coughs> I have attached a wire to stone here and it is attached to another wire to stone another wire to stone and the wire comes out from here and at last it is connected to a button now let's come back to the, our old counter business that I have explained you the wire to stones property very nicely and I hope that you might be understanding it very well if you still don't understand don't worry in the future videos we are going to use many not, not many elements through this way and in that too i'll be explaining you how to use it similarly i also use wire to stone if i haven't understood for this uh, seven segment display and four led display uh, this both are basically the devices with display numbers so if i just go back and see so this is the way where my output is okay this the middle block let me show you my styles this middle block is the stylus and it is connected to this block where the 4 LED segment and that block you can see this block and this block and this block is uh, you can see a small blue dot okay so this is my uh, seven, 7 7 segment LED display yeah it's LED, yeah, it's LED. so let's come to business now you can see there are four choices here there are four things one you can see is a c alphabet c one is the plus sign minus sign and the o shape kind of thing but the c is always meant for output okay c is always output 
so wherever you see C that means the wire fl flowing through this part is always a is always an output so let's make this here and we're describing it very nicely to you okay so this is always the output it is always the output uh, let's see okay I'm making the same system again so that we can understand it in a better way okay uh, only thing I'm not using is the last one function uh, but I'm back also. so yeah let's come back to business so this C is always output okay the plus sign means uh, you are adding one to your number okay so like if your number is zero at the now when I press this now it's number one it's two three four five six seven eight okay similarly the minus sign means I'm subtracting one from it seven six five four three two one okay this button now let's say I'm three the button flowing to the wire to uh, the button connected to the wire which is connected through the stone to the back side of the counter is actually the reset button it resets your value to zero again so if i press this button we initially know that it was three and it has turned to zero let's try it it's five now you can remember it's five i go back press this and now it's zero so we have made the same machine except for the fact that we have also used the four led display and we have used the last function also that this function is known as the overload function now what does this overload function mean that whenever you let's say have press press this press 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 and then you go from nine after that after nine you go to a b c d that's what the hex adjustment system is a b c d e f and you come to f now many people have a question that what does the thing after f comes uh, if you know uh, you might not be knowing this I'm telling you it's not a perfect uh, there is something known as spike patch in our game and whenever you press this button you can the spike patch go inside and whenever you press it the spike plants come out also so you can see I've used the same function up here this is a spike plank which now is down like uh, when you press this it's down it's like it's down and now okay it just needs a tick signal that get on get off get on get off, and it automatically gets on and off okay it doesn't need a switch like when keep, uh, keep the switch on and it will be on and keep the switch off it will be off no like not like that so once i press this plus button i go to zero again but the fact is the overload function has given me a high value that is the one value as i told you in my earlier video that uh, zero means low and one means high the one value to this spike plank and spike plank the spikes rose up okay similarly i do it another time and again you can see they have gone down okay now what is uh, the main use of this that many people ask me that what should we use the overload function for so i'll tell you why you should use it uh, the best use for it and I, what i use for it is under the counter <laughs> So okay, and I'll just add an LED kind of thing. Uh, let's see on. Okay, and you can see it has already given up him a function. It actually is a, a ongoing function. I guess. I will start in my now. So it's F. So if I go below. And if I go again, you know, this rising signal gives a plus sign to this, and the plus sign gives to connection to the plus sign. The plus sign increments it, and it goes to two. Now let's try adding a light bulb. So as you can, uh, and this is my reset button. What I have actually done is, I have taken this wire down and just make a connection up here. Let's reset it. Uh, once you reset the, even the overload how many however times you have overloaded this function it will come back to zero okay so let's go and 
oh lord and you can see the it just stays on zero and it doesn't stay on one or furthermore so even if i just go and on zero it's sliding up it's not dimming it's not going up but moment i do one it goes but next time again i come back to zero and it lights up and it continues lights up so this is how you can use the counters and uh, this is how you actually use counters mostly you won't need the overload function to be used but the rest of the functions are quite necessary which includes reset your output plus and minus we have the key components and the overload function is not so important it's done. Uh, we will not be using that so much in our games or in making something so thank you for watching this video i hope you subscribe for it goodbye